what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today we have another world of mary video i'm going to be filming today it's going to be all about pros and cons of coming to william and mary and things at william and mary so with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into the video and learn a little bit more about what william and mary is actually like <laughs> So let's begin with the pros. The first one on my list is that everyone is so friendly and so welcoming. You are definitely going to feel this when you come on campus. I remember even during orientation and the first week of classes, my friends and I were shook. We were like, why is everyone so nice to us? Um, and that's just a huge part of William & Mary. The student body is super welcoming, super nice. No matter what your personality is, what you look like, what you wear, whatever, you're going to be accepted. I promise you, everyone is super nice, super welcoming, and that is a huge pro. The second pro on my list is that orientation is actually very, very helpful. The way that they set up orientation, the way that they run it, actually gives you a really good foundation for coming into William & Mary and at a lot of other schools you don't get an orientation as in-depth as William & Mary goes so you really get to learn about the campus and the professors and what your classes will be like and it just gives you a good foundation into William & Mary so coming in as a freshman orientation is going to be really helpful and that is another big pro. Next pro, if you did not know William & Mary is a public ivy um, meaning the academics are very difficult, you have very good professors, your classes are going to be difficult, and you're going to get a great education. So that is another big pro about William & Mary. Next, a lot of people don't know about this one, but William & Mary is a very big research school. A lot of the professors that teach there come in for research opportunities. Your call 400 your senior year needs to be fulfilled through conducting research. Um, huge research school. If you walk through the ISC, there's these huge glass windows and walls that have um, people's abstracts in them. Tons of students get published, tons of professors get published. So if you want to conduct research or study something more thoroughly, research is a huge um, opportunity at William Mary's. So that is another big pro. The next pro is that you get a ton of variety in your class size. You're going to have those big lecture halls, which are like 80 people. Then you're going to have smaller classes that are like 10 to 15 people, maybe 20. So you're not going to get bored of what your classes are like. You're going to have a lot of good variety. You're going to be able to get that really college experience where you get to know more people while also still being in a big lecture hall. None of them are all super big. So big variety in class size. It's going to give you a lot of experience in college. And that is another big pro. The next one can be a pro or a con, but I'm put it on both lists. So that is that William Mary is a small school. There are 9,000 people attending William Mary total. I think about 7,000 undergrad um, and a little over or a little under 2,000 um, people in each class. So with that being said, you're going to have smaller classes. You're going to know a ton of people. You're going to be passing people as you walk from class to class. Um, and if you don't want that, if you want a really huge school with tons of places and a ton of people you're probably never going to see that is not the school for you william and mary is a very small school and it is very close-knit um, but going along with that everything is walkable everything is super close you don't really need a bike you don't need a car you don't need to take a bus if you want to walk somewhere from one end of campus to the other it takes 15 minutes max maybe 20 if it's really rainy one day um, but yeah super close and super small so it can be a pro or a con but pro <laughs> The next pro, there are so many clubs at William Mary that you are going to find something that you want to do. Literally, there are about, oh, there are literally hundreds of clubs, like so many. When you um, are in orientation, you're gonna walk through the Kaplan Arena, there's going to be like 500 club tables just set up so you can go through and you can learn which clubs you wanna do, sign up for a couple. And if you don't like any, you can make your own, but I promise you, you're going to find something that you want to do or that you wanna be interested in just because of the huge variety and how many different people that there are at William & Mary. So you're definitely gonna find a club or something that you wanna participate in and that is another huge pro. And the last one I have on my list is that even though William & Mary is a small school, Greek life is still an option if you wanna join a sorority or fraternity, an academic frat, a business frat, a social fraternity or sorority whatever that is still an option it's definitely less intense than at bigger schools um but still an option and it's another pro on my list next let's go ahead and jump into the cons about william mary the first one on my list is 
um, the one that can be pro or con, and that is that William Murray is a small school. If you don't want to see a ton of people, if you don't want to run into people that you saw last week, if you uh, want to be able to go to take a bus from one camp, one place off campus to the other and have it be more spread out, more buildings, more opportunities, that is not William Mary. William Mary is very close knit. You're going to know a ton of people, pass a ton of people that you know, be able to walk from place to place. So that can also be a con if you are looking for a huge school. The next con is that William Mary is a hard school to do well at. The academics are hard. It is a public Ivy. Your grades don't get rounded. They're not inflated by any means. Um, and if anything, they are deflated. Your professors are very tough on you. They expect a lot from you. So if you're coming in to get an easy A or to get an easy grade or have a high GPA by taking classes, you have to work for it at William Mary. So it's hard school to do well at. Um, you're gonna get a great education though, but that is another con on the list that it is a hard school to do well at. The next con is that William & Mary is in the middle of nowhere. It is in Colonial Williamsburg and there's a ton of horse and buggy carriages running around and everything's super historic and everything smells historic and there's no city life around you for the most part. It's all just Colonial Williamsburg, William & Mary, that's it. So if you get bored really easily or you want to be able to have that city life where you can go Uber here and there and go like shopping, whatever. Yeah, that's not at William Mary at all. There are places that you can go to Uber to, but it's very small and it's not city life at all. So if you want that, you're not going to get it. Campus is a little bit boring, especially after you get used to living there. Um, so yeah, another con. My next one is about housing. So housing for freshmen, especially your dorms are going to suck unless you have lemon, which is the newest hall that has AC. Everything is historic, smells historic, is historic, no AC, hot and humid, your rooms are small, nothing is updated, nothing is modern, every single appliance is going to be old, your rooms are small, your bathrooms aren't that great, the hall bathrooms are disgusting. So if you are really, really picky about your housing and you want to live in a very modern building or be able to live off campus, that is not going to happen at William Mary and that may not be for you. So that is another big con on my list. The next one is climate. William Mary is in the middle of a swamp. It is in Virginia. Virginia is super humid and hot all the time. In the summer, it is so hot and so humid. You sweat through literally everything. In the winter, it is rainy and it is cold and snowy. So if you guys are not used to having a ton of different ranges of weather, if you're not used to wearing rain boots all the time, if you're not used to getting wet or you're not okay with being ready to get soaked by rain, maybe don't come to William Mary. It's beautiful. There's tons of trees everywhere. It's a beautiful campus when it's a nice day outside, but when it's not that nice, it is really humid and gross and rainy, but that is another con on my list. My next con is the food. The food honestly is just like meh. It's like a five or six out of 10. Every dining hall is kind of the same. Your off campus options are all kind of similar to like right off campus in CW. There is not that many things. Some are more high end, some are just cafes. And if you really want to go somewhere to get something more modern, like Panera or go to Target to get food or anything like that, you have to take an Uber and pay money or have a car to go off campus. So the food options are like, eh. the dining halls are like, eh. so if you're coming and you want to have like really great options, it's probably not going to be William and Mary. There's definitely better schools to go to that have better food, but yeah. <laughs> My next one is that sports and tailgates are pretty much non-existent. If you want to come to school that has a huge football scene, huge basketball scene, huge sports scene where you dress up in your school colors, ready to go to game day, tailgate the day before or tailgate the morning of, go to Darty's, whatever. Yeah, not William & Mary whatsoever. Tailgating does not exist except for alumni and alumni will come and drive in and park in a parking lot and set up tents and grill and have a beer. And that is it. Students do not do that. So sports scenes pretty much non-existent at William & Mary. If you want a huge game day school, you're not gonna find it. And my last con on this list is that William Mary is rather expensive. I know out of state is expensive. My out of state friends complain about it all the time. In state, it's pretty expensive too. Um, and I mean, you're paying for a great education, whatever. I think that they could up a couple more things to get it to be level to the price um, to make it more worth it. But that being said, it's still a great school, but the expensive and the price is on my list, so. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for my video. I hope you enjoyed learning more about William & Mary. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some pros and cons that I think about William & Mary and that it helped you decide whether or not you want to come to my school. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end up the video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below any other questions you have for me. You can always shoot me a DM on at Gabby Bird Fit on Instagram. And hope you guys have such an amazing day when you're watching this. Bye.